Hello Libra, welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for approximately the next 7 to 14 days. All right, Libra, we're getting started with the Power of Surrender cards. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Do remember to check your other signs as well, Libra. There could be additional messages there for you. Okay, so your first card out, surrender to setting limits. Interesting. I don't think that one has come out yet. All right, and we have surrender stubbornness. Okay, one more from here. Oops, one more from here for Libra. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Nice. All right, Libra, I like that for you. Okay, so we're going to go into some tarot. This is the Everyday Witch Tarot and then we'll do some angel answers so if you have a particular question you can reflect on that for later you don't have to though um you know any messages that are meant to come through will okay and as always remember this is a general reading so take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't all right libra we're doing a four card spread your first card out this is your most important situation for this time period the seven of wands holding your ground i'm getting um, a big accomplishment for someone listening for your challenges position the seven of cups okay many choices having a hard time deciding between many many choices all right your advice position is the nine of wands okay and for your outcome position we have the page of pentacles awesome all right libra i'm gonna go in and clarify and then i'll go deeper whoops drop some cards i'll go deeper into the tarot and then we'll go deeper into the first oracle cards that I drew. All right, so we're clarifying the Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, Nine of Wands, and Page of Pentacles. And for those of you who like numerology, look up the number seven, 77, and you can break that down to 14 or five if you wish. Okay, Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, Nine of Wands, and Page of Pentacles. If you hear any noise in the background, I have a kitty in here and she's playing with some toys. All right, so clarifying the seven of wands. Nice, we have the nine of pentacles. All right, Libra, I like that. Clarifying the seven of cups. We have the 10 of wands. All right, clarifying the nine of wands. Awesome, we have the six of swords. I have a very zany cat in here and she just bumped the camera stand. So sorry if you saw a little wiggle. All right, clarifying the page of pentacles. Awesome, we have judgment. All right, Libra. So let's see what we have here for you. All right, so your first card out, the seven of wands. I'm getting accomplishment for someone listening, okay? I'm feeling like you need to stand your ground, that you need to defend your accomplishment. And that's understandable because I think this has been hard won because where did I see that? Um, we have the 10 of wands here too, putting down burdens. So this has been a, a hard won accomplishment. So it's completely natural to feel defensive. Like you need to defend what you have achieved, but you really don't need to because if you see all of the other hands on this card pointing their wand, at this person um, they can't reach that person anymore so anyone who has tried to drag you down um, anything any situations or circumstances that have um, like seemed like they were holding you back um, are no longer affecting you okay so like you have reached a certain level and you can't be pulled back down okay so the witch on this card she could just turn around and keep going no one can touch her no one can pull her down no one can like grab at her and we want to be careful about making sure we learn our lessons because in the judgment card, that's what this is all about. It's about, um, not all about, but partly about um, things from the past coming up, okay, and like relearning things, okay? So if you realize that you have learned all you need to learn, you can stay at that level and continue to level up and continue moving forward okay um, the judgment card is reminding us not to be pulled back down we want to elevate okay so um that's just a part of part of that message with judgment going back here to the seven of wands being paired with a nine of pentacles for many of you this has to do with finances this has to do with re reaching financial independence okay i'm getting um somebody listening has worked very hard for this and you're fearful um, because someone has tried to sabotage you and you're afraid that it's going to happen again maybe not 
with that person, but in life, like in another way. And no, like look back at all of your accomplishments and all that you have done, all the different steps that you have made to get to where you are now, okay? And um, realize your strength, okay, and um, your your accomplishments. Oh my gosh, there is a zany cat in here. The table's wiggling because she's running across the back of it. So sorry about that. <laughs> Let's refocus here. I'm talking to myself. Let's refocus. The Nine of Pentacles, if you look at her, she's very secure and confident. And you have every reason to feel this way, Libra. Like, um, be in the beauty of your surroundings. Be confident. Um, feel your security, okay? Nothing is going to drag you down as long as you're wise and make the best choices for you like you have so far, okay? Um, things will be fine. Know that you've, you've been there, done that. You know how to take care of yourself, okay? And you need to um, keep that in mind. Be a good girl, Maisie. Be a good girl. Okay, so next we have the Seven of Cups being paired with the Ten of Wands. So I'm seeing that this decision that some of you have been needing to make has been very burdensome, but you're putting that burden down and just choosing, okay? Just choosing. There's more than one choice for you. Um, there's more than one thing to look into as um, different options, say, in career or maybe uh, friendships, partnerships. And um, why not take things slow? Why not learn a little bit about each choice and go from there? Maybe write down the pros and cons and go from there. I'm getting for someone listening that there are many good choices here, like the Seven of Cups here. I'm seeing that all these things are good, okay? You just need to choose what's best for you right now. Like For example, like say you're um, choosing something from a menu. There, there could be seven really healthy meals but if you eat all seven of them, you're gonna be sick, okay? So do this like piece by piece, like maybe one thing at a time. Maybe you don't want all seven. Maybe you want three, maybe you want two. Do you know what I mean? So, but take your time, like one at a time, and know that there is time. There is time for you to enjoy these things, to enjoy your life, to enjoy the company you keep. There's plenty of time. It's not like you have to rush and hoard everything right in this moment as if this is the only good moment that's ever going to happen again. Libra, there's more to come and you need to keep that in mind, okay? And I'm getting for someone listening, the freedom that you're feeling from releasing this burden is making you feel panicky in that way. Like, oh my gosh, like I don't have this weight on my shoulders anymore. What do I do? I need something to grab onto. Well, grab onto, you know, something that feels right, something that feels healthy, whether it's a friendship, partnership, um, you know, a career choice, uh, learning something new. So, you know, replace those burdens with, with more positive things, like enriching things, because then you won't feel as scattered, okay? Um, it's not um, like you should um, you should be burdened anymore. I hate using the word should right here, but um, I think someone listening is feeling like they should feel the weight of burdens, but no, 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 like you're, you're done with that. There are good things to replace that. It's time to feel more free and enrich your life with things that you enjoy and want to do. All right, Libra, in the advice position, we have the nine of wands. So this is a reminder, you don't need to feel banged up like the witch on this card. You don't need to feel this way anymore, but this is also acknowledging that you are the wounded warrior. Like it's been a tough time. So um, you don't need to feel this way anymore. If you don't wish to, you don't need to. It's all about our choices. And in the six of swords, here in the Six of Swords, it is showing um, you're moving away from those hard times, okay? And the witch on this card in the back, she's kind of looking back. So it's like you're acknowledging what you've been through, which is good. So let's switch this around, okay? You're looking at the old you, okay? You're here looking at the old you, what you've been through, and acknowledging it. But you're saying, bye, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to live that way anymore. I'm bringing who I am with me. I'm going to leave those experiences in the past because they've been rough and I don't want to live that way anymore. I've learned. I'm ready to move on. There's something better. There are some unseen things, as we see with the moon in the background. There's some unseen things, but they are um, they can be exciting. OK, you can look to your future as something exciting. Um, we see like um, the wind and the leaves being kicked up, um, which to me is symbolizing winds of change. OK, so there's some change coming in for you. 
change, um, moving on a higher calling, as we see with the judgment card, okay, Libra? So while you're putting these burdens down, you are reaching for your higher calling. It could have something to do with education, which I'm getting in the Page of Pentacles. Um, you could be meeting somebody new or reconnecting with someone in your life um, that's a healthy connection, but be careful not to focus only on that personal connection, okay? Because you have some like personal things to do yourself, like for yourself, okay? So it's a, it's about balance, okay? Like with the, um, with the Seven of Pentacles, all those choices, well, if you are reconnecting, with somebody um, that's nice but make sure you balance things out with other things that you want to do with yourself with your life okay like earning an income in a different way possibly um, learning about something new going to school doing something creative just remember that there's more than one thing Libra I'm getting an important message here for someone listening it's important not to grasp onto one thing and make that your whole life okay it's important to realize that um, we are all made up of different things. Our personalities are made up of different things, different wants and needs and talents, okay? So um, it's time for you to pull that all together. And there's always more to discover and learn about ourselves. Okay, so back to the power of surrender cards. We have surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Libra, okay? No is a complete sentence. You don't have to go on giving excuses, okay? Surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and with yourself. Nice. And that's also letting go of a burden, um, surrendering stubbornness. Like think about that. Like when we, when we let go of stubbornness, what a physical relief that feels. Okay. Surrender the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Awesome Libra. And I'm getting someone listening needs to go to a museum, some kind of a museum. It could be an art museum, a train museum, um, that just popped into my head. Um, a science museum. Okay, it's going to make you feel really good and connected to yourself, Libra. Oh, that sounds exciting. All right, Libra. So we're going to go over to the Angel Answers cards now. If you have a question, you can reflect on that now. Don't have to, though. Any messages meant to come out for you will. Just listen to your gut, Libra. And please do like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Just had one pop out. Let me pick that up. All right, peaceful resolution. Awesome, love it. Peaceful resolution, Libra. I like that a lot. All right, so let's go back here. Shuffle a little bit more for Libra. One more for Libra. Okay. We have choose a new direction. All right, Libra, I like that because um, here in the beginning, when I was talking about the Seven of Cups choices, I think some of you have been focused on one thing, right? Choosing a new direction could be choosing many, not as in being scattered all over the place, but maybe for someone listening, this choice is choosing more than one thing rather than focus on one situation, one person, right? This is choosing to have a more balanced life. All right, Libra. Nice messages here. This makes so much sense to me. I hope this helps. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.